And we're back now with the CBS3 Pet Project. Carol Erickson, animal advocate with the Pennsylvania SPCA, is here. Carol, good morning. Good morning to you, Howard. How are you doing? doing you know, well. it's, it's, it's really interesting. The comfort that the presence of a dog can do in your own home. You know, it's another set of eyes and ears and barking to uh, listen to sounds that may be out there real and imagined. But it's just another presence in the house that can be very comforting. Also, they've done a very interesting study that the presence of a stranger's dog in a scary situation in an urban setting can also be comforting to the person looking at that. So this came out of a study that Psychology Today reported on, and they had a group of college-aged women take a look at these scenes, and they are typically kind of scary scenes, a dark parking garage, dimly lit pillars where people can be standing. Well, it turns out that the women who viewed these scenes and saw a stranger they could be very nervous. If they see that same stranger, man or woman, walking a small or medium-sized dog, they felt much more comfortable. They felt just emotional control, less risk to themselves. And it was very interesting that the size of the dog actually mattered in making the stranger observing something in a scary scene feel comfortable. If the dog was little and it was a man walking that dog, well, that made them feel very comfortable. If the dog was medium sized, that still made them comfortable, but not as comfortable as a strange man walking a very small dog. So it's just a very interesting thing. Let me show you a full screen graphic here, and they will be able to see that the calming presence of a dog. So a person, just an unknown person with a dog, and somebody seeing that, you feel safer in the city because of that person. They did not go into why that is. Possibly it's like, hey, if that person's walking a dog, they're probably a pretty decent person. And they've got a little dog and must be taking care of them. I'm just uh, ruminating on the cause of that, but the effect is that people feel safer. It helped most seeing these dogs out with people. It helped people feel much safer the scarier the situation was. So the positive effect of the presence of the dog was just greater in the more intimidating locations. And again, the man who is walking the smaller dog is perceived to be less threatening than a man walking a medium-sized dog and it increased that feeling of safety in women. Now, investigators, and we can drop that full screen now, investigators say that they, they didn't even attempt to show somebody walking a 120-pound dog, some man on a dimly lit street, because they figured that was not going to make anybody feel comfortable, except maybe the person walking the dog. However, many of us love to see people walking large dogs and wouldn't feel frightened. In fact, I'd probably feel a little more reassured just because the person had a dog with them. So an interesting study just about the, uh, the great uh, the great presence and what they it, a dog can do for us, whether it's our dog or somebody else's. And speaking of somebody else's dogs, it could be yours. Oh, Pennsylvania SPCA, boy, do we have a lot of dogs and cats. We need you, and so does Daisy. Look at this little darling, eight years old. She's a coonhound mix. She is sweet, loving. She loves long walks, treats, quiet time, being the center of attention, and probably being an only dog would be just perfect for her but oh I love Daisy and Logan look at this sweet boy seven years old he's a spaniel English cocker mix isn't he darling he's great he wants gentle hugs and reassurance and he would love a quiet and low-key environment that is Logan Pennsylvania SPCA you can see more pictures of him and also Daisy on our website PSPCA.org and also Emma. Emma is just a little foxhound mix. She's four months old, just a sweet little puppy, an outdoor loving gal, except when the weather's too cold. She is wonderful, loves playing, lap sitting. She is very, very affectionate, just a, just a great dog. And as you know, the presence of a dog, as we've just been talking, makes places and people seem a lot safer so it's uh, it's something to consider and is something to rejoice with our animal friends howard yes you know carol it's amazing how comforting just the presence uh, of a dog can be tell me about it that's why sometimes they let them at the workplace and i think they should yes all so, right thank yeah. you carol okay